Why? Because of course, everything would go right through. Yeah, sure. Is that point? Yeah. Welcome to the August 2020 Year of Uncertainty edition of the Key West Poetry Guild, celebrating a long unbroken chain of 43 years of monthly open poetry meeting. My name is Alan Somerset Meese, and we are down to three poets in this uh, coronavirus plague episode. We're wearing our masks to start off with, but we'll take them off to read our poems. I'm Alan Somerset Meese. I am Patty Pat and Tiffany. Hi, I'm uh, Rosalind Brackenbury. I wrote for a friend, I, it's for N, actually it's for Nadine, and um, I want to also say it's for her brother Ed, Ed Pined, for his birthday, which is August the 18th. It's called The Roads of Florida. This is for you, Ed. Lunchtime, our last together here, and we sit waiting for our lobster tails and slaw, and you tell me of your sleepless night, how you worried, your brother missed his late bus home, so you got him a taxi all the way north and did not know for hours if he was safely back. I hear your big sister anxiety and how you couldn't let him hitch, not across Florida, a black man alone in the night. And how you could not sleep for imagining the worst and what it took from you. So that today, eating our Florida lobster drinking our lemonade, it comes up. <clears throat> the worst, that's always just around the next corner and how it happens. This lunchtime, I get it, from the look on your face, from your pallor, the lines drawn by fatigue, your voice hardly above a whisper. I get just a little of what it's like when no, you, no one you love is ever safe when friends are not enough, when the deserted street, the empty lot at night, the roads of Florida are not where you'd want anyone you love to be. Thanks. I'm Alan Somerset Meese. This is Love Not Lost. Uh, the keys used to belong to the Tequesta Indians and you don't see any of them left down here anymore, hardly. A Tequesta Indian stands in this lonely place by Kokomo Bay. His long native hair and his far away hungry heart. He looks at the water, the airport, and the ships going by and has to wonder, where did my people lose all this? I would say to him, that which is in your heart you never lose. Others will surely inherit what you had, but the memory of how beautiful it was is forever yours to keep. It's so very hard on every one of us to lose our love before we knew. It was time for us to move on. This is what I would say. That which is in your heart can never go away. Thank you. Mm. Hey guys, <laughs> reintroduce. I'm Patty Pat and Tiffany. When we stop crying, looking out, fog on the pond, early chill, mist gone long away. I hear you crying in the kitchen, gauge your grief by tone, soft muffled breaths, sharp air gulps, the shrieks and wails you save for nighttime when you think I am asleep. We cry differently, always have. Loss separates us more these long days. The twist in my gut pulls my spine down. I hear your suffering sounds soften. I want to sit with you, to touch you again, but my feet are prisoners on worn tiles. 
and the quiet in my study opens our album. Pictures at a pit, sunny picnic table, light steps on shiny sand, the soft smell of a baby blanket, long before the diagnosis. If only we could say his name. <laughs>